Hi friends, welcome to our today's uh, quantitative analysis session. And today we want us to look at uh, some question that was done in December, 2022. My name is Dr. Joshua Aura. And today we are looking at the calculus question that was tested in December, 2022. And here is the paper. So specifically, I would want us to look at this question number two. Question number two reads, Shoe Tech Limited, a manufacturer of stylish shoes, estimates that at full-scale production, it will sell between 2,000 and 3,000 pairs of shoes. The total monthly revenue in thousands of shillings over this range is represented by the function total revenue, total revenue equals 3x squared, 3x squared plus 7x plus 7x, that is a revenue function. The firm estimates that the marginal cost in thousands of shillings could be represented by the function marginal cost MC equals, MC equals 5x squared, 5x squared plus, not plus but minus, 5x squared minus, 5x squared minus 3x minus 3x minus 3x minus 2. Whereas the monthly fixed costs are a thousand, a thousand. Required, derive the average cost and the average revenue functions of the firm. Derive the average cost and the average revenue functions of the firm. I would start with average revenue. So the first thing that is quite a low hanging fruit here is the average revenue. So I'll get first of all the average revenue. So average revenue. Average revenue is the same as revenue per unit. To get average revenue that I will be abbreviating as AR, to get AR, you will take total revenue, total revenue, you divide this by total quantity. And the quantity in this case here is abbreviated using what here, is capital using what here, using X. So basically, I will come and take my total revenue here, which is 3x squared plus 7x, and then I divide everything with what there? With x. I divide everything with x. Ladies and gentlemen, please listen. In mathematics, if you are given something like, say, 4 plus 2 over 2, you see this will be the same as 6 there. That will be the same as 6 there. 6, the numerator is 6, and the numerator remains at 2. So 6 divided by 2 is the same as what? Yes, somebody is the same as 3. There is something very special I would want to derive at here. That uh, this denominator can be distributed to each one of these. The denominator can be distributed. So it means that if you talk of 4 over 2 plus 2 over 2, what will you end up getting? This is 4 over 2 is 2 plus 1, which will end up giving me the 3. So I would want to use the same, same concept here to distribute this to each of the terms. So then what this would mean is that we have here 3x squared over x plus 7x over x plus 7x over x, all right? So of course, in this case here, 3x squared divided by x, I know it's x times x. So x times x divided by this x, at the end of the day, what do I get? I'll have here x times, so this, this will be 3x plus this x and 6x here cancels I mean, giving me like that. So this is what we call the average revenue. So the average revenue is 3x plus 7. The average revenue is 3x plus 7. So that's the first thing that I would have done as a great student over this subject. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, as I continue, there is no good reason for anybody to go and study in a physical college. These things, you don't need to study them in a physical college, right? Accounting world has moved digitally. You also need to embrace digital learning methods if you would want to become a good accountant. Then what I would recommend is study with us virtually. Study with us virtually. And if you want to study with us virtually, please call us. This is our number, 0719525000. We have very good rates of Kenya shillings 4,000 per paper. Kenya shillings 4,000 per paper, which you can also pay in store installments. Muelekeo, the internet. Great. So having got an average revenue, so then allow me to go to the next still in part one. They wanted us to give them the average cost. You see, average cost cannot be obtained. 
Average cost cannot be obtained from marginal cost directly, no. For me to get average cost, first of all, I have to get total cost. And now the question is, how do we get total cost? How do we get total cost? Total cost from marginal. Marginal must be integrated. To give us total cost, we must integrate the marginal. So we are saying that to get total cost, come and integrate the marginal cost. So we're integrating this marginal cost, which is 5x squared minus 3x minus 2. So integration, integration marginals, you have to integrate the marginal cost to get total cost. Remember integration formula. You will increase the power by one, and then you divide by the new power. You will increase the power by one, and then you divide by the new power. So like this is 5x squared. So increase the power by one, this will give me 5x cubed, divided by three. So then this one here will be 5x to the increased new power, which is two plus one, that gives me three, divided by the new power, which is three, minus three x raised to power two. Remember here, ordinarily there was a one. When I increase it, when I increase it by one, so the new power will be two. Divide this by the new power, which is two. Minus, remember here, this is a constant. In integration, you can't tell me that the constant will disappear, no. In integration, ladies and gentlemen, what happens, the constant which is there, because you're integrating, you're putting together, the constant which is there will take up the variable of the equation. So in short, this will become what we call to what year? To x minus 2x like that. After I finish this nicely, I know it can't be called integration without the k. So you must come here and add the k. k is the constant of what year? Integration. k is the constant of integration, the constant of integration. So if I start dividing this, so five divided by three, this gives me what here? Five divided by three. Five divided by three. This gives me 1.666, what year? 1.6667. X raised to power three. X raised to power three. X raised to power three. Uh -huh. Minus three over two is 1.5. So 1.5 X squared minus two X plus K, which is a fixed cost. Remember in terms of cost, the constant is the fixed cost. And this constant has been provided. This constant has been provided as what year as a A thousand. The constant has been provided. The fixed cost has been provided in the question. They have told us, they've told us here. They have told us here. They have told us here. Uh, marginal cost and the fixed cost will be shillings a thousand per month. So from up here, the firm estimates that the marginal cost in thousands of shillings could be represented by the function. So this marginal cost is in thousands of shillings. And because it is in thousands of shillings, for compatibility purposes, even this fixed cost must be divided by a top, must be made to be in form of what a thousand. So this one for compatibility, come and divide it with a thousand because you're saying that the marginal cost, this one here was in thousand. So also this fixed cost must be in thousands. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, then we happen to be having our total cost function here. We happen to be having our total cost function. We happen now to be having our total cost function. We happen to be having our total cost function. So our total cost function is 1.66667x cubed minus 1.5x squared minus 2x plus the one there. 2x plus one. So this is the total cost. So ladies and gentlemen, I would want really not to solve the entire question here. If you would want to get solutions for part two and part three, Please call our school, call our virtual school. It's called the RCM Online College. And we shall be able to give you great courses, CPA courses virtually, CPA courses virtually. So this is our number. We shall be waiting for you to call us. And then most important, ladies and gentlemen, for following me on YouTube kindly, I request you to subscribe. And then if possible, on the comment section, write to me which other topics you do want Malimu to do. What do we do to even support you better using this YouTube channel? Thank you very much.